Hi everyone, I hope y'all are doing well. And again, I wanna encourage my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who are hurting a lot right now and who are going through a trial. You know, I just wanted to give a little progress report on how I'm doing. And, um, you know, I'll try to be honest in order to help you the most. And so these days, and this has been going on for over a year, ever since my last really difficult trial, you know, the work, the world just seems a little bit darker than before, you know, with all the uh, evil in the world. And, you know, we have like COVID in the world and who knows what else, all kind of sicknesses and all the evil deeds being done in this world by evil men. You know, it's just easy to fall into despair if you keep thinking about that stuff. You know, if you keep watching the news where all these evil is highlighted. But I realize, and I know a lot of you guys realize, it's only by walking by faith that we could prevail in this dark world. We have to keep our eyes on Jesus, keep our mind on heavenly things, not earthly things, not the desires of this world. And as we keep our eyes on Jesus, and stay obedient to him, life can be more bearable. I don't know if I'm to the point of being joyful all the time. I'm not joyful all the time, but I want to be. You know, and I, I look to God to f for him to fill me with his joy, but I, I struggle a lot, you know, with being filled with his joy, and I struggle with even being content, you know, a lot of times, and I have to preach to my own soul to... Um, have it come out in thanksgiving naturally to be content i have to stop myself and pause and say lord i'm i'm thankful for you saving me for my family for my health and my job and all these things you know then i have to uh, like um remind myself of god's goodness going through my life and how he's been good to me it just otherwise i could just fall into the despairs of this world and, you know, I stick close to the Word of God, and I read it in the mornings, usually. I spend time, you know, with Him in prayer in the mornings, and I just stick to Him. And so, you know, I went through a time of anxiety about two to three weeks ago, maybe a little longer than that. And it was it was painful, <clears throat> and I'm still tempted at times, but the Lord has mercifully helped me a lot in the last, you know, few two to three weeks. And has a lot to do with how he trained me already you know in the first and second trial started six years ago and then i had another one year and a half ago and the lord is just reinforcing the power of surrender of just trusting him with childlike faith and whatever fears that try to come i acknowledge and remind my soul that that thing that you're anxious of it comes with good purpose the father has vetted it he's approved it he only allowed it to come your way because it's good for you and i have to keep on telling myself that and that truth does set my soul free from all the fears and anxieties. And that's why I've been feeling so much better these days. You know, I see this mountain, even a monster charging at me. And I say, I'm not afraid of you. My father is in charge of all things, including you. And you're only allowed to touch me because it's good for me. And so what do I do? I climb that mountain. I take on that bull that's charging me. I grab it by the horns, trusting in God, and I do what the Lord wants me to do that day. Tomorrow's battle stays to, at tomorrow, and I just focus on today. And so that has been helping me. And you know, when the devil tries to attack, he says, what if you lose this, 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 this? Well, I have Jesus, and that's, he's all I need. He's my provider. He takes care. I'm not going to fear any loss. You know, so... You know, as I go through these, <clears throat> excuse me, these battles, and the Lord blesses me with these truths, you know, reinforcing these truths, I try to pass them all along to you quickly. You know, while the victory is fresh in my mind, as the Lord teaches me and comforts me, I try to pass that to you. And that's why you've, you know, seen more videos in the last few weeks. As the Lord teaches, you know, I want to pass it on to you. And so the Lord has always been good and he's still good and these fears and anxieties are all a bunch of lies for me and for you and so a lot of it is just already the truth that we know that we practice in our hearts we need to preach to our souls it's like soul 
Why are you so scared? Don't you know that the Lord brings everything to you with good purposes? You know, that's something I've been preaching to my soul so often. And you know what it does? Like if my soul can be shown in a visual, it goes from like this and I keep preaching to my soul and I start looking up and I start smiling and I start thanking God. Even when just a minute ago, I was scared because you view it for what it really is and not how you feel. And over time, as you keep on viewing it for what it is, your feelings will catch up again to the truth. And uh, you won't even feel scared of your circumstances over time. And um, don't be discouraged if more temptations come to fear, you know, like more temptations come later because they usually do. And you get caught off guard and you have to preach to yourself again. Take that as a time of reinforcement. Reminding yourself of God's truth, his goodness, his sovereignty, his love for you. Yeah, so I just wanted to make this video to encourage whoever can be encouraged by this message. I just want to encourage you. Don't give up. This life is hard for you and me. It's hard for everybody. But we have Jesus. He has given us everything we need and his grace will never cease to be given to us. We're maxed out on his grace. And so we have nothing to fear, even though this life is crazy hard at times. And so let's try to just hold on to his word and stay in thanksgiving. Try to be content at all times in the Lord and even dare to be joyful all the time in this life. God bless you.